Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose in the Moose is Loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. Thank you so much for coming by the channel. Today we are going to be showing you how to remove liquidity for the MinSwap decks. So that's precisely what we're going to go over. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Also, please leave comments. I love it when you guys ask questions. It's gonna help us out here on the channel to create more content tailored to your needs. By the way, I just got back from a wedding and it was a complete disaster. I mean, the wedding went well, but the guy owns quite a bit of crypto and I just fear that he's gonna lose a lot of Bitcoin. So I just definitely see her taking him for everything that he owns. He shouldn't have told her about it. Um, but I got him a nice get wedding gift. I got him, what, like two, two hardware wallets. So I got him a ledger and a treasure. Hopefully he uses it. Um, that's what I would be doing on my honeymoon. So anyways, let's get into the video. What we're going to do, and there's a reason I'm doing it right now. To make a long story short, I am going to be doing videos this week on how to migrate and basically swap out your old meld token for the version two, the red, the red logo, um, which it was originally. So we're gonna be discussing that. And we're also going to be doing a video on how to farm in the new meld. So I'm pretty excited about this week in general. And we also have some short reels coming as well. So definitely go to MinSwap and go to launch app. And we're going to be using our NAMI wallet. As you can see right here, I've got some meld, um, cornucopias. And what we're going to be doing is unstaking everything. We're gonna be taking everything out of our farm. So what I'm gonna do also is pop up a screenshot this is what my meld was like. So I recently just took this out and instead of us doing it with meld, we're going to be doing it with min tokens and copy. So that's what we will be doing. What you can do is go to filters and go to staked only. As you can see, we've got how many here? And this is what we're going to take out. We've got quite a bit. Um, we actually need to go to our liquidity. So let's go there first. So here we've got 3,000 Kopi and 300 ADA approximately. And we've got 8,000 Min and 700 ADA. So we are going to be um, withdrawing that. We're gonna be taking that out. So right now what we did in order to, to get to that point is we either zapped or we just provided liquidity. So we've got our, um, our total amount. So if you look here, we've got our staked amount. So let's go through this process. So what you're going to do very simply, okay, and we'll cut to the main screen. You're gonna to go to farm. You're gonna to go to the pool. What I like to do is go to staked only. And eventually what we're gonna do is stake here later on in the week. So you're gonna to go to what you have in here. So we're gonna start with our copy. Let's say that you were delegating or sorry, you were providing liquidity for Kopi, this is what you would do. You would go to harvest, all right? And we're going to sign this transaction, okay? So that's that's one thing that you could do right there, all right? So if you just wanted to harvest, you could do that. You can get your rewards. But for us, we're going to be withdrawing. We wanna get out of the pool. So instead, we're going to hit on withdraw, and this is going to harvest as well. Because you don't wanna sign more transactions than you have to. So what we're doing is we're withdrawing our staked LP. So what we did is we provided our LP, which was this amount, and then we signed another transaction to stake. So we're going to withdraw. So this is a two-step process if you wanna be fully out. So we're going to sign this. So now we're gonna wait in the top right. Um, we will get confirmation. We're gonna start with our ADA copy. And then we will do eight a min if, if this happens in a swift manner. So what we're doing is we are getting out of the position. What I'm eventually going to do once I'm done setting up all of my, all of the things I wanna to do to organize my coins, I recommend taking a notice and we have so much to cover. Like I'm really excited because what I've been able to do is really answer all of my questions on this channel. And as I figure it out, I share it with you all. Um, so 
that is something I wanted to mention. It's just really cool to be able to learn these tips and tricks and to be able to share it with you all as well. So in the top right, you can see our withdraw LP. We'll even give it a couple of refreshes. Now, if we take a look at our wallet, it may appear, um, we're gonna have to wait, but what we will see is it basically looks like Chinese a little bit um, in terms of the, the lettering. And we will see that at the bottom. And then what we can do is fully get out of our position. So the next thing we will see is the order will have something pop up up here. And that will basically to be to let us know that we can now withdraw. So it's a two step process, takes a bit of time. I'd also like to know, what are you guys staking to? And ultimately, if I click off on this, this is what I really wanna get into this week. I would like to provide to this because look at the meld APR. It's at 26% now. It was higher. I assume once more people delegate or provide liquidity, it's going to change. Because if we look at the meld right here, we got 8 million. This one's got two. So this is going to change. And that's because meld has their V2. And now you can be rewarded with three tokens and earn meld, not just, you know, min. So it's going to be very interesting. So let's hit refresh here. We're probably going to see, um, it's probably finished. So if we take a look here, there we go. So we've got our LP tokens. That's basically what's happening. Um, when you first go to even provide liquidity, and at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're providing liquidity. You're adding your tokens so that other people can come in and trade and do swaps. And that's how a decentralized exchange works because now we're our own banks. There's no middleman. Now the DEX, you could say, is somewhat of a middleman because they do take a bit of fees, but that's okay. It's a lot better than the traditional method. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to liquidity. We're gonna go to your liquidity. Yep, and now you can see that we're up here instead of down here in our farm. So for example, here we have two, what is that? Two million, two billion staked right here for our min. We're focused on our ADA LP. So now we're going to remove our liquidity. So we're gonna hit that. We're gonna do 100% and we're gonna pay a little fee and we're going to remove because we wanna get our, our ADA in our copy back. Cause I'm gonna be doing a much larger transaction later cause I wanna be doing everything eventually with my Trezor. So right here we have a Trezor and I do have another wallet. So let me pop that up to give you an idea. So I'm trying to cover quite a bit in this video. Um, I have a lot to cover and a lot to get organized even just for myself, it becomes difficult. So as you can see here, I've got 42,000 a meld. I would like to put that with what I already have in my NAMI. So I wanna get things organized. So I should have about 60, 70,000 and even Kopi, we're gonna see more here. So we have a thousand, this is going to be adjusted and transferred. So we'll have more ADA and more meld here in just a minute. So that's effectively what I'm trying to get in on right now. I'm trying to get out and get reorganized so that all of my yield farming is done through my Trezor. Now, one thing to mention is that even though you're using a hardware wallet with MinSwap, you are still sending your funds away. You, If the DEX ever goes down, you are gonna lose your funds. So just remember that there is a risk to yield farming. And at the end of the day, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. That's what this channel is all about. The moose getting loose. The moose is showing you all what's going on. Um, I'm also in a great mood, guys, by the way. I'm in a great mood, you know, just got, got a lot going on. I'm learning. I'm providing as much liquidity and as much value to you all. So let's see if this finishes anytime soon. Sometimes it just gets done before. So again, once this, the LP amount is going to be basically swapped in um, provided to our wallet. So we should see that happen in real time um, any minute now. So again, we could see our order and you could see all the other orders that I've done in the past. So what we're going to receive is 293 ADA. So right now we've got about 1100. So we're gonna get much more than that here in a second. 
and we're going to be receiving 3,162 copies. So here we go. I think it's happening. I think it's happening, guys and girls. I think it's happening. So again, it's just, it's pretty interesting doing this in real time. Um, the other thing about YouTube right now, I don't believe I can do any videos longer than 15 minutes. So I hope this happens within 14 minutes. So um, we're definitely going to be doing this with Kopi. And then I will be doing another video probably again with Meld. Um, definitely for the V2 migration. Comment down below as well. Um, is yield farming something that you guys enjoy the most? Do you guys love learning about how to earn passive income? Or do you really want me to start talking about Matic? Because that's one blockchain I wanted to get into more. Um, specifically the Matic NFTs. Because of course with Polygon you have all these partnerships. And because it came out much later than Ethereum. It's just, it's a much more a much, a much more cost effective blockchain or side chain, if you will, layer two um, to buy and sell NFTs. That's that's definitely been interesting over the years to see. So if we take a look, we're probably still waiting. We're still waiting, right? Um, so this is what we're waiting to see. If we do have to cut the video short, I'll just show a screenshot. I'm going to be editing this video in post. I try to go live, try to do what I can. So here's one of my wallets again. This is my red cape. And I'm just trying to accumulate as much of these three. Um, and also MinSwap. MinSwap is another one I love. I'm adoring MinSwap. I, I think it's a very undervalued DEX. Um, I'm pretty confident in that. So it'd be nice to be able to provide even more yield farming liquidity. And the reason I didn't add, for example, 50,000 Kopi to farming is because a I wanted it organized I wanted min swap to be able to accept it um, in the wallet so I think it's happened right here so right now I'm connecting my NAMI but I'd like to connect my treasure which you can do now um, so I've been waiting a long time for that so we'll hit refresh once more I think the complete the transaction is completed so if we go up here we should see it soon. So we, we see it reflected in the wallet, but we're just gonna have to wait for the NAMI to be showing. So it is complete. That is how you withdraw. So we've got our little batcher fee. I believe that's two ADA, not bad. We've been earning that throughout the, the farming as well. So I did have three tokens that I was farming and pairing. ADA min's pretty good. We're earning quite a bit of min here. I'm not providing a lot in this one, but it's not that big a deal. So here we go, there we go, there we go. So now we got it done. So we've got our ADA, we're now at 1467 in this particular wallet. We picked up a bit of min swap, and we also have our Kopi tokens here. So what I'm gonna be doing in the near future is I am going to be adding or sending this copy away onto my treasure and we're going to be showing you in a different video how to yield farm using your treasure and of course you you're still at risk of losing access to your funds but that's the way it is so with that being said the moose is loose the moose is out if you're looking to pick up a treasure we have a link in the description below for you thank you so much comment down below what other tutorials you'd love to see here on the channel cheers